So the transmission for today is to perceive life as though it's happening in slow motion. So I don't know how many of you who are watching right now have had experiences with either deep meditation or psychedelics or any kind of mind-altering substances and an experience of time slowing down, an experience of looking at reality and perceiving it in an altered way or perceiving it in a state that feels like you're seeing nature or you're seeing life perhaps in its true nature, in its true form for the first time. And I know a lot, a lot of you who are in my tribe, you've had experiences with plant medicine, with psychedelics, with different <laughs> entheogens and different things that shift the levers of the human interface, that change the settings of the human interface. And if you've been hanging with me for a while, then you know that one of the transmissions and invitations that I tend to bring is the invitation to find this without the substance, without the thing, and access this directly in your own experience in any moment. And so my invitation for you today is to perceive life as though it's happening in slow motion. I had this experience right now, this is our, our last day here in Guatemala and I'm in the garden right now and, uh, and there, there are hummingbirds all around here. There are tiny, tiny hummingbirds, they're flying around and they're drinking from these, they're drinking from these flowers and if you can see it's like, there's like an entry point where the hummingbird can come in and so they're flying and they're pausing in front of these flowers and they're and they're pausing in the air and they're the, the the wings are moving so fast I can't even see them it's just it's a blur of hummingbird wings and and I had this moment of looking at the hummingbirds and it was like something shifted in the way I was perceiving and it was like time just slow down time just slow down and even though nothing changed in the external it was like i could feel or sense the the of ultra slow motion of the hummingbird wings moving and then i started looking around and is like I could slow down my vision into the molecular level, slowing down the vibrations of the atoms, slowing down the vibrations of the, the molecules. And, and it was like everything changed. Everything became more quiet. Everything became more subtle. Everything became more just intimate and present. It was like the intimacy with the intimacy with all of this and the feeling of of feeling life at the level at which life experiences itself feeling life at the level at which life experiences itself is this making sense to anyone it's really clear in my experience i'm trying to put words to it 
because you see it's the hummingbird to the hummingbird I believe I would imagine that to the hummingbird it's not going like this is so fast it's like to the hummingbird it's it's moving and it's experiencing and it's pausing and it's pausing in my eyes it looks like the hummingbird is coming to is coming to the flower is coming to the flower for one and a half second and is drinking from the flower for one and a half second but I bet to the hummingbird that was like sitting down and having an entire meal of tasting the nectar of life and so it felt like I could it felt literally like slowing down time to perceive at the, the speed of the hummingbird and extending this to these other elements of nature and that this might seem like you know a solid part of of nature like I can touch this leaf but actually this is just this is just molecules and atoms vibrating at the speed of light appearing as though it is a solid form same thing with our body if you zoom into the human body or any plant matter or any other matter for that matter then you'll find that and this is not spiritual woo woo stuff this is scientifically you know measurable that the the size of the actual particles on the subatomic level compared to the space between them we're talking in the core the nucleus of the atom the the clouds of electrons the size of the particles compared to the space between them is comparable to the size versus the distance between the stars that we see in the night sky the stars that we see in the universe and so in other words this thing that you call your human body that seems solid is tiny particles interspersed with vast distances of empty space and then somehow because of the vibration and because of the 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 movement of it it gives the illusion of the appearance of solidity but when i'm touching this leaf for example i'm not actually touching a, anything solid it's just that the clouds of electrons in my fingers are meeting the clouds of electrons in this flower in this plant but all of it is simply vibration if you look into my eyes or if you look into your own eyes this is just vibration and light in continuous interplay. And so the invitation for today, if you want to have this experience of, you could call it drugs without drugs. You could call it primary seeing. Look around the space where you're at right now. Or even look down on your, no, let's, let's start with look around the space where you're at right now and imagine that you can slow down time imagine that if you're in nature or if you're in a city if you are at home just look around and imagine that you can literally slow down time to the level where both the the so-called the wings of the hummingbirds go from being this fast blur into you being able to see and perceive that same thing with the vibration of the atoms you can slow everything down to the space where it's like you can look into the space between those oscillations if you're in a city imagine that you slow everything down to like the slowness of the time-lapse photo maybe that's the opposite I'm not sure but where you can where everything just almost pauses you become like like Lucy or like Neo when just the bullets come and he can just freeze time and and move around within that and so wherever you are right now just look around and imagine that you're you're slowing everything down almost to a freeze frame but you can still move within this you can still move fluidly within this experience is this making sense to anyone feel free to share in the chat if this is landing with you not that it really matters i just felt inspired to share this with all of you but feel free to share if you do you understand what i'm saying this to the point where you can gaze into the space between the oscillations of the appearing and disappearing of particles and then you know 
and then just see what happens. <sighs> okay, my loves, that's my transmission. That's my invitation for the experiment for you guys today. I wish you an absolutely beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Let me know if this resonates, if this lands, if this is making any sense for you, or if you're like, what she's talking about? But I get the sense that... <sighs> I get the sense that you know what I mean. Okay, so Stevie's saying... She says, I had such a drugs without... <gasps> Did you hear that? Did you hear Did you hear the sound of the hummingbird? Those were the waves. It sounds like... It sounds like... It's so cool because the hummingbird wings, it feels like they're breaking the sound barrier with how fast the, the hummingbird wings are moving. And so I don't know if you heard that, but the hummingbirds are tiny. They're about this size and they're zooming around here, drinking from, from all of these flowers. So, see if he's saying, I had such a drugs without drugs experience while doing the clean slate meditation with Orin Harris last night. Thank you for giving it to me. Yeah, guys, if you haven't done the clean slate meditation with Orin Harris, then I highly, highly, highly recommend this. He's also guiding us into the space of, of what is it like to live life if you're actually living from a clean slate. And what I mean by that is that, is that if you are on a path of awakening, then most likely you've had these glimpses of complete open space, of no mind, of an experience of just complete inner silence, where you're so in the moment that it's like nothing else exists. And maybe you've had this experience on, on drugs, I don't know, or maybe just in deep meditation or on the dance floor or in breath work. However, in, in daily life, you might be feeling more like a stressed out and frantic and frazzled, you know, Woody Allen character versus a calm and zen, skillful, just in the moment present Neo, like Neo in the Matrix or like Yoda, where you're just so in the moment that everything you do is coming out from a pure space of pure presence. And so the clean slate meditation that she's referring to that is not by me but by, by Oren Harris is a meditation where it allows you to close all the open tabs in your mind. Because if you've had the experience where it's like you sit down for meditation or you're, or you're trying to drop into a space where where you're trying to drop into a space of inner silence, say, but then there's like 57 different tabs open of all the things you should be doing. And the thing is that the mechanism of our mind tends to work in such a way that when you have a number of things that are on your to-do list, then if you're not doing them, your mind is like looping reminders and on a subtle level telling you that you should be doing these things all the time. It's like you should be doing them all the time. And even if you're doing one thing, it's like, oh yeah, but then you gotta do these things as well. And so it's like, even when you're trying to focus on one thing, it's like, the, f the other 56 open tabs are pulling on that energy and are pulling on that bandwidth. You recognize this? This feeling of, it feels like a, I describe it as a subtle stranglehold on your life energy because it's like you can't focus on an optimal level. If you're trying to do something in your computer and you're in one program or you're in one tab in your browser, but then there's a hundred other things open, it just slows everything down. And so through the clean slate meditation that she's referring to, <sighs> through the clean slate meditation that she's referring to, you get to close all these open tabs in your mind and clear, also clear out if you feel any people in your field, you get to clear that out as well in such a way, got some hair in my mouth, in such a way that you can operate on a much more optimal level and you feel more like Neo, you feel more like Yoda, you feel more like that skillful Zen master, that martial arts person and you can create from a much deeper deeper place so Debbie's asking where can I find this meditations two ways one if you want to have this one plus 
a lot of other similar guided practices and downloads into expanded awareness and psychedelic space and ecstatic awakening then then one way and you can do this if, especially if you have a pretty good wi-fi connection then then you can find this as the first one on the page if you go to the inspiration vault the inspiration vault and you can i think you can google it but otherwise if you type in awakening retreat dot com slash inspiration vault there you can find the first one on the page is the clean slate meditation by Oren Harris who just joined the ecstatic awakening team and you can find a lot of other ones if you're on your phone or if you have a kind of slow Wi-Fi connection then just go to YouTube and type in Oren Harris clean slate meditation and then you can find it there it's absolutely beautiful. It's just on his channel, it's on his YouTube channel. So I can highly, highly recommend that. So either Google the Ecstatic Awakening Retreat Inspiration Vault or type that in or go to YouTube and, and find Oren Harris Clean Slate Meditation. But so to bring it back, I just want to first say, give a shout out to everyone who is here. Hey Jasmine, Heidi, hey Steve, Flor de Lisa, Yera, Els, Yvette, Christina. Pierre Francois, Vina, Frank, Agamemnon, Svante Marike, Debbie Hola. Linnea. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> um, so our gardener just arrived. Uh, let's see, Debbie Linnea, Elin, Klaus Peter, Bord, Cynthia, Kristen. Okay, amazing. So to all of you and anyone who's watching this in the future now, watching the, the recording of this, Going back to the experiment, the two experiments for today. Gazing around your environment and slowing everything down until you can perceive reality moving in slow motion. Slowing down the wings of the hummingbird into a... Perceiving all of that. And then secondly, looking at your body, looking at reality, looking at everything, and imagine that you can slow down the vibrations of the atoms and the molecules down to the space where you can gaze into the space between everything that's happening. Wishing you a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. Signing off from Lake Atitlan, Guatemala last day. Tomorrow we head to Costa Rica for Envision Festival and for Shakti Sound and Solar Sound. Music production treats and maybe a spontaneous ecstatic awakening experience. And so if you're going to be in Costa Rica or if you feel called to come to Costa Rica, then let me know and, you know, we might co-create something. Wishing you a beautiful day. Bye.